You're money. seeing people gravitate to a leader because of his money. And they feel money equals power. So they've stopped trusting God as the source of power. And this, this election is, is clearly showing it. And you're seeing people that have been in Christendom for 30, 40, 50 years put their reputation with God and ministry on the line mm -hmm. to endorse money. I don't worship Yes. Truth. You're seeing it. Again, God is saying, I'm showing this to you not to be discouraged, not to be, you know, hypercritical, not to get all over social media and start telling off all the Christians you know. <laughs> That's not why he's showing it to us. He's saying, I'm showing it to you so you can begin to make a clear line now. Because if you cannot make a clear line now to worship and serve me, how in the world are you going to resist the seduction of the Antichrist? Amen. Amen. If you're being seduced by, if you're being seduced now, how are you going to withstand the seduction of the Antichrist who's going to be probably a billion times more seductive in spirit and attractive in nature yeah. to deceive. Mm -hmm. This guy's not even attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and we're deceived. <laughs> oh, that's all I'm saying. Oh. It's not even an attractive deception. Neither one. But people are deceived. And so God says, I want you to, I want you to see uh, what's going on. I want you to see people leaving holiness and rationalizing a choice. Mm -hmm. It's one thing if you say, this is what I want to do. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But when you say, this is God's choice, uh -oh. that's a whole nother level. Because now you are saying that God is anointing and appointing your decision. That God's hand is on your decision. And you're connecting and you're, you're making equal this person, right, mm -hmm. with God's idea of righteousness and truth. Yeah. Yeah. When clearly, if you look at the track record, you know that's not the case. So we can't be over here telling off the LGBTQ community about their perversion when we're over here holding up a perverted symbol and saying it's of God. Mm. Perversion is perversion. Right. You can't, in other words, as believers, if we're getting to the place that we're making people idols and we are patching people up into the image of, we're, we're helping them, we're, we're putting cosmetics on them, <laughs> So we can feel okay about our decision to choose them. When God did not do any of that, but we did, and we said, oh, he's saved now. Because we decided with our own criteria what the salvation looks like. So now, if you look like what I say salvation is, then clearly you're saved. And now I have the ability to accept you because you look like what I say salvation is versus what God, God says. says. God says. Yeah. The standard that we all have to meet. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to intercede for our nation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to intercede for our choices. Mm -hmm. We're going to intercede for this coming election because at the end, at the end of the day, we have to have a clear conscience before God. Amen. Amen. At the end of the day, it cannot be about I did it because I wanted this person to be pleased with me or I wanted this organization to be pleased with me or I wanted my family to be pleased with me. So I told someone this week, I have voted Jesus as president before. Amen. 
I have no problem with doing it again. <laughs> <laughs>